Hi YouTube, it's Hannah aka Lampancy and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a 17 inch pink diamond doll. I don't know why her arm was like that. Here is a size comparison. Amethyst, the shortest doll that I've made, I think. Yeah. And pink diamond. I really wanted to make the pearl from a single pale rose as well to go along with her, but I didn't have enough time and I wanted to get this video out before I went on vacation, so just pink diamond for now, but maybe I'll make pearl later. Anyway, I hope you guys like the video. The doll that I'm using is Madeline Hatter and she is 17 inches tall like I said before so she's pretty big but there actually are 28 inch dolls which I thought will be good for yellow and blue diamond. Pink diamond's a little shorter so I'm just using the 17 inch one. Anyway I am cutting off the hair so that I can pull all of the hair plugs out and put in new hair. The head was really hard so I had to soak it in hot water for a while so that it makes it a lot easier to squeeze and get the hair plugs out. Usually I would use tweezers but the head is so big I had to use scissors to scrape inside. After scraping the hair just fell out. Nice and smooth. Next up is removing the doll's factory paint using nail polish remover. And because the head was so big, I decided not to use Q-tips, and I just used a paper towel. Now I'm going to spray the entire body and head with white spray paint. I'm going to spray it pink next, but because she has white stockings, I am going to wrap the legs with saran wrap so that it doesn't get any pink on it. Here's the body and the head spray painted pink, except for the legs. And because the pink is really, really light, I'm going to brush on soft pastels and make it a little darker. It's drawing time. I'm just drew, oh my god, I said drew, I was gonna say drawing. I'm drawing on an outline. Sorry, I can't talk today apparently. <laughs> I'm drawing on an outline with a light pink watercolor pencil. And gradually I'm going to just darken it and darken it and darken it. Between each layer, I guess I would call it, I spray on Mr. Super Clear. It's a sealant and it will save your progress as well as help you with building on color, darker colors, yeah. It's really, really helpful. By the way, can you guys write in the comment section what doll you think I should do next? Because I honestly have no idea. I have so many ideas for dolls, it's really hard to decide. Right now, the fandoms I'm in are, well, Steven Universe, obviously, My Hero Academia, Persona 5, Osamatsu-san, which clearly, like, look at my room, and what else am I in? Oh, dang in Rumpa. Yeah, there's a lot of characters I could possibly do. I really wish I could do more male dolls, but the Ever After High male dolls are so expensive, except for Hunter Huntsman, so I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have enough money for a $60 doll. <laughs> Now that the face is done, I'm moving on to the hair. I'm using a light pink yarn because Pink Diamond's hair is so fluffy. So I really wanted to get that fluffy look. Hi 
I know this looks really weird, but I'm adding clay to her head to make this bump on her head so that I can lay the hair over it and have it look like it's really big and fluffy. I only had colored clay, which is why there's like three different colors. I'm brushing out the hair with a comb and I'm trimming it. I kept everything in place with hairspray. I'm adding on false lashes with tacky glue and I got the false lashes from Daiso. Now I'll show you how I made the clothes for Pink Diamond. I'm using different colored pink fabrics. And for the pattern, I'm using a DG Requiem pattern from Etsy. I just altered it a little bit so that the neckline was deeper and the back had more of an open back. I also changed the bottom of the blouse. As you can see, it's a little bit more pointed on the sides. To sew the blouse, I laid the back pieces onto the front piece, right sides together, and I sewed the top and the sides, leaving the armhole open and the back. Make sure to hem it too. For the sleeves, I sewed a big stitch and I'm pulling the thread through so that it makes these ruffles. And I'm hemming it. Since it can be hard to sew such tiny clothes, I'm just going to attach the sleeves to the blouse using glue. I made the shirt too long, so I'm just going to draw where I want it to end and cut it. Now onto the shorts. I'm using a bloomer pattern, also from DG Requiem but it is for a regular size doll so I just blew it up to 150% and I printed it out and you get the right size for a 17 inch doll. To make the bloomers, I'm sewing the two bloomer pieces together and then doing a large stitch across and pulling it just like I did with the sleeve so that it creates a ruffle and these are the bottom of the shorts. I did the same thing for the top of the shorts, and I'm pulling it until it is the right size. This is the little ruffle part that goes around her shorts. I am using white hem tape and sewing it to the bottom of this fabric, and then I'm pleating it with an iron. I felt like it needed a waistband, so I'm just going to take this dark fabric, fold it, and sew it on. For her gloves, I'm wrapping tape around the upper part of her arms so that there's a nice clean line. Then I'm painting it. To make it shiny and to also seal it, I'm using this gloss varnish. I'm using the same paint color for the shoes. And I'm adding gloss to that too. Now I'm adding the pom-poms to the stockings, which I think are so cute. Lastly, I made her gem out of clay. I don't really like how it turned out but it was the best I could do. I'm adding gloss to make it shiny. Ta-da, Pink Diamond is done. Let me know what you guys thought and remember to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Bye, see you next time.